Here's how to play the intro of Hey Joe, and also some of the more repetitive lick ideas that happen every time this chord sequence is repeated. Of course, no one uh, really plays like Jimi Hendrix, and I'm no Hendrix expert, but if I can do this sort of stuff, I can definitely teach you guys to do it too. Let's have some fun and learn one of the most famous guitar songs of all time. So I'm on the neck pickup on my Fender Strat. Sounds like this. And this intro is based on the E minor pentatonic. But importantly, it goes between the very familiar position one of the minor pentatonic to the much less familiar, perhaps, position two. Position one. Position two. Those are exactly the same notes, the same letter name and the same pitches, but they're in two different positions on the neck, which is a concept you want to start looking into if this kind of playing is of interest to you. The actual lick starts off by going three to five, but having that first finger right on the tip and also picking string one together with string two to get a signature sound. Same thing, but the opposite. And a very similar thing on the uh, third string as well. So without the pairs of strings, it literally goes down the minor pentatonic without even missing a note. It's just going through the notes of the minor pentatonic. The timing of it is everything because they are very quick moves and then hitting the pairs of strings finishing on just the E major chord that E major chord is then moved up two positions one two and then once more but using a slide so after we've picked how it looks like with the dots on top. So that's first finger at third fret, going to four, and then these two four going to five. In total, finishing up, I would do this lick. at the 7th fret and 9th fret, 7 to 9 as a hammer on, pick, hammer on, and then uh, keep that first finger still, but it's the 3rd the string. So that was after. And I would be using a down pick, then an up pick. After that we have five chords for the whole rest of the song. C, G, D, A and E. As bar chords, I'd recommend we have a go at playing that as C. Play it like this or like this. Uh, this is an A-shaped root five bar chord. G, more familiar shape to many of you maybe. D at the 5th fret, using an A shape chord, A chord, so C and G at the 3rd fret, same move at the 5th fret, and then either E or the E up here, which is at 7th fret. So this would give us... And that's just picking the thicker strings, slightly palm muted, 
down, 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 up per chord. And we could keep that E going. basically have the riff from A Whole Lot of Love. It sometimes goes either or. Both are worth learning, both are worth having a jam over this song for sure. That's the whole lot of love. So this is 7th fret to 5th fret, 7th fret to 5th. Followed by or whichever you want. Again, hitting those open strings to give it more of that Hey Joe feel altogether. You could also return to that one at the end, you know, through all your chords, and then fantastic song to um, set up on your looper pedal. so that you can try it at slower tempo, so that you can try just adding that riff at the right time. This is a perfect one just to be trying out and seeing where you're at with beginning to add little fills and little riffs in between, you know, bar chords and open chords. That's the real end goal of, of this song, I would say, from a lesson point of view, but it's also just a wicked song. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your song requests in the comments below. Do you want the solo to this? Do you want more Hendrix? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.